Hi everyone, my name is John, and today I wanted to talk about how to improve your accuracy in typing. I'll be honest, people have been asking for me to talk about this for a long time now, but I've been a little bit hesitant, mostly because I view it as a relatively straightforward topic. Up to this point, whenever anybody asked me how to improve their accuracy, I told them to hit the right keys and not the wrong ones. While I'm sure people are looking for more specific advice when they ask me this, there's really not much more to it than that. However, I've had a long time to think about this, and I'm finally ready to go more in depth. Before I talk about some actual tips and practice methods, I'd like to briefly talk about keyboard layouts and hardware. Out of the top typists, most people think of accuracy as my strong suit. A lot of people attribute this to the fact that I use Dvorak. As a whole, Dvorak typists end up having a pretty high accuracy on average. Unfortunately, I don't have any data to back this up, but I'm fairly confident that it is true that the Dvorak users I've talked to type more accurately than the QWERTY typists I've talked to. One theory is that, because there's less finger movement with Dvorak, there are fewer opportunities to make mistakes. I also think that it is probably related to the fact that people who are willing to learn a new keyboard layout are also more likely to put in the boring work to increase their accuracy. I haven't talked to a significant enough number of Colmac typists or any other layouts to comment on the accuracy of their users, but I would imagine there's a similar trend. Next, I'd like to talk about physical keyboards. Again, this is all purely observational and based on personal experience, so you might find something different if you test it yourself. At this point, I've used linear, tactile, and clicky switches, as well as laptop and membrane keyboards for a long time, and I haven't noticed a significant variation in my accuracy between them. It's more important that you are used to the keyboard that you're typing on. I could see keyboards with a higher actuation force being easier to type accurately on, but I think that it would come at the expense of speed. Most people want to type more accurately so that they can type faster, so for the long term, this does not make much sense to do. However, like I said, it's all personal preference, so don't let this scare you away from trying different things out. And now, it's time for me to tell you what you don't want to hear. There's no easy trick. If you want your accuracy to get better, you need to practice it and put conscious effort into it. While it might be goofy to compare them, improving in typing is really not that much different from improving your technique in a sport or instrument. Practicing is very different from just playing Nature Type or Type Racer or whatever website you like. When you're consciously practicing, you should be improving on a specific skill rather than just mindlessly typing. So, if you shouldn't just race over and over again going for a high speed, what should you be doing? This might surprise you, but you should be typing slow. When I say slow, I mean however slow it is you need to type to hit your accuracy goal. For most people, I think that you should be able to increase your accuracy if you're typing at 80 to 90% of your max speed, but don't be afraid to go slower. You might even find that your overall speed improves, even if you're not hitting your keys as quickly, as mistakes cause your speed to tank, and of course you'll be faster without them. However, I recommend not even looking at your speed while you're practicing accuracy. You might be wondering what a good goal for accuracy is. The short answer is higher than your average accuracy was a month ago. Unfortunately, I'm much more familiar with accuracy with Nitro Type than Type Racer, so that's what I'll be referring to right now. If your average accuracy is under 94% on Nitro Type, you need to slow way down because at that point you're hardly even typing, you're just hitting random keys. 95% is still too low to be competitive. Once you get to 96%, that's about the least accurate people type and still hit 200 word per minute plus scores. However, I think that a good end goal is an average accuracy of over 98%. If you look at the accuracy of top players on Type Racer, they are all in the upper 98 to lower 99% across their account's history. However, this is probably a little bit inflated because of only saving good ghosted scores. Right now, I'm showing a graph of all of my races on Type Racer, with the x-axis being speed and the y-axis being accuracy. I know this graph is a little bit hard to read, but there's a clear positive correlation between speed and accuracy, at least in my races. I hope this helps show you how important accuracy is, because I have a couple more small tips. The first is fairly obvious, uh, make sure you know your keyboard layout by heart. I would say know it like the back of your hand, but honestly I think I know Dvorak better than the back of my hand. This will come with time, but there's nothing wrong with doing the typical FFFJJJ, FFFJJJ, learn to type programs. Next, make sure you're using enough fingers. I've gone over this before, but I think that you should be using at least three per hand. I don't really have any tips for how to do this. You might need to completely retrain your typing style or basically start over, in which case you need to ask yourself if you're willing to put in the at least 20 plus hours to do this. Make sure you have your common letter pairs down. For example, I've practiced QU because this is a tricky handshape with the Borjok. 
If you notice you're consistently messing up a word, letter pair, or even just one letter, take a couple minutes to practice it by taping it over and over again correctly. It's super useful to be a good speller with typing because it's impossible to type fast if you need to read one letter at a time. This is one of the most frustrating ways to lose speed because it's not a reflection of your typing ability. This transitions nicely into my final tip, which is read ahead. Again, I went over this in my general typing improvement tutorial which I have linked in the description, but it's a part of accuracy and important enough to mention again. If your fingers catch up to the word your mind is processing, it's very likely that you'll make a mistake, or at least pause. One final thing I'd like to address is what website you should be using. People like to hate on NitroType because it doesn't punish low accuracy enough, but if you're intrinsically motivated, you can improve on NitroType. With Type Racer, your scores will go down more drastically if you make a mistake, so there's perhaps a bigger incentive to type more accurately. However, really what it comes down to is how much time you put in practicing, so any website is fine if you're enjoying it. This is a somewhat exciting time for typing because there are finally more options than NitroType, Pen Fast Fingers, and Type Racer. Some newer ones that you can also check out are Monkey Type, Typey Nation, and Keymash. Of course, there will be a link to these websites in the description. You can even be focusing on accuracy when you're writing a paper or talking with your friends over text. This pretty much wraps up what I have to say about accuracy, so get out there and start practicing. Or like, learn to code or like paint or something like that instead, it's really up to you. But I hope that this video helped you, and if you've made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribed, as I put lots of work into making a bunch of videos like this one. Also, I've included a couple more races at the end if you're interested. Thanks for watching.